everybody, Sir Gregory here with Mylan Productions. We're here today with an excellent actress, Miss Samantha Simmons, who actually plays one of the Nosferatu vampire queens in the Eye of Norse series Draco Ortis, Dragon Rising. Samantha, how are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? Love the outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Samantha's actually known for her um, different outfits, and you'll actually see several in this interview. But before we get started, just a couple quick questions I've asked everybody. You know about all the blogs and stuff about Myland Productions. Have you been drugged? No. Flown in UFOs? No. Done any cattle mutilation? No. Okay. This is some of the blogs say. Uh, what's been your experience with Myland Productions? Um, there's a lot of uh, ability to work with the character and have, I guess, like the. How do I phrase it? The um, ability to add your own thoughts develop and your de develop that's what I'm trying yeah, to think, sure. of, think of the word yeah. and so like as an artist you want parameters but you also want to be able to like infuse what you want to add to the character and like not having too much uh, of the structure allows you to have the flexibility to work through what you want to do with the character and you've actually done a great job you use a lot of structured improv and Samantha has just done a great fantastic job and before I step off real quick if you have any weird strange odd experiences with violent collections not Now's so your chance to say because it's go straight to the FBI. So <laughs> thank you very much, Samantha. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I have a background in martial arts, uh -huh. and so that is most of my performance career. And so a lot of it was just performing for a small audience because we'd have our chi eyes. Mm -hmm. And now that I've been kind of getting back into acting, I did a little bit of stunt choreography and stunt training. And so now that I'm looking into that and uh, other roles, taking it a little more seriously than I was before. Now you're also a professional photographer, correct? I am. So I've worked everything from big business and corporate to uh, very small portraiture sessions with other artists and I've also worked um, for the school districts. Nice. And you're also an, an animator. You're doing an uh, illustration for a book. Yes. Oh. So I am a uh, illustration or well, an illustrator but like that's not my degree of course and so I am working on a children's book right now. What is your degree in? It's photography. Okay, because I know you're a very, very varied and talented artist on a lot of scales, and you're a very good actress, and you're very good with structured improv. So you also uh, are involved with the anime con conventions, correct? Yes, yeah, so Nondescon is something that I've worked uh, before in a couple of years, so I am working in main events in there. Excellent. So where are you from? Here, Denver, Col well, Colorado, I shouldn't say here, because I'm Okay, so what do you what do you think of the vampire series Draco Ortis? What do you think of the role? I already like the genre of vampire and fantasy, and um, a lot of the things growing up that interested me was the costuming of say Lord of the Rings or the characters in say Underworld, and so having a similar role, of course, would be interested in it. Nice. Nice. So what attracted you to Mylan Productions' Draco Ortis? So the role itself is what attracted to me. me. Um, so I met Tom in my acting workshop. It's about Tom Thumb. Yeah, Tom Thumb. Yeah. Um, uh, Tommy Lee Raspberry. Yeah. Um, so he and I met at Benji Do Dobrin's studio, and he and I did a scene together from Underworld. So when I did that scene, he mentioned, hey, maybe you should work on this project that I'm also working on. And so I already am interested in the vampire genre. So I was like, all right, I'll check it out. So So that was an example of positive word of mouth about Mylan Productions. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Okay, so let's take a look at one of your other costumes. Sure. So Samantha, tell us a little bit about this particular costume that you're wearing right now. So this, um, this is a jacket, actually. And so it looks like a dress. Um, I rolled up the sleeves to kind of have the repetition of the, uh, the lace uh, style so that there's the red and black. Um, but this one I got when I was 17. And you know, you sort of collect costumes over the years and you wonder what you're going to use them for. So you got to use this one. You actually have some very, very impressive costumes. Um, your character, your vampire queen, the Lahu Nosferatu Queen actually has some very impressive outfits. Thank you. Yeah, I think a part of like royalty with the velvets and kind of the, the lace, of, not only does it represent 
a affluence, but it also has like a sense of power. So characters tend to sort of be one with their clothes and the, sometimes the clothing take on their own character. So I kind of like the idea that she picked out these outfits over hundreds of years and sort of kind of took from what she liked. And even though it's taking from maybe like humans, but sort of her own take on it as well. So what kind of art are you interested in outside of just, you know, the acting? So outside of acting, I've always been interested in fashion, costuming, illustration, um, gosh, you name it, like sculpture, pretty much anything and everything to do with the arts, even performance art, so, um, which is uh, also tied into acting. So uh, everything arts in general. Do you have a particular favorite uh, genre that, other than vampires that you like to work in? Yes, so I, I very much like medieval, renaissance, and Victorian. Okay. And what about that? Because you bring a lot of your skill and background into your character. And since you're a vampire who's thousands of years old, that actually plays in very well with that. But of that, what do you like to tap on the most? Probably the sort of, I think of the, the name Delaho to stir up and and it's almost like you have to have this facade that you don't know anything, and then you can you're able to like bring out the things that you know. So I like the idea that she can do martial arts yes. because not only do I have a background in it, but you can dress prettily and say you're going to take over and kill and sort of be the general to your army, but then to be able to go out and fight too. Yeah is very important. Because you actually have a sword fight scene in the movie with uh, Evan Jackson who plays a paladin. Mm -hmm. So you bring your martial arts skill and training into that very well. What have you thought about the sword training that you've been getting with Myland Productions? It adds to the knowledge that I already know. So I have Aido background and that's more Japanese style with uh, the katana. Right. And having the broadsword techniques, um, it's sort of adding to sort of it, it, well, it's also like learning a whole different style. So it's adding to what I already know, but then having to reteach myself stances and everything that is sort of ingrained and have the muscle memory. So. Right. Citadel Process is our training company. And Citadel Process is who you've been working with. Now, you also mentioned, um, you know, you, your name, Delahu, which means to stir up in Sumerian. And so you bring in a lot of different aspects into that character, which is very good. It's very, very good. So how long have you been doing martial arts? Since I was five years old, so that would be over 20 years. Okay, and just uh, just so we're so we're sure, this is September 2016. Mm -hmm. Just people watching this. So, if you had anything to say to anyone about uh, Mylan Productions, what would you say? That it gives the freedom to an artist to create the role without the pressures of, say, a certain financial or a demographic or the basically the things that stop a project from moving forward. Right, right. And what would you say about the training you're getting with Citadel Process? Very professional, um, very uh, organic with the script and the way that the actors can sort of bring what they know and then also train them in a way Basically saying, if you don't have any martial arts background, that doesn't matter, and which is nice. I, I do, so it's a lot easier for me to kind of catch on. Right, but and you're like, doing very good. It's it's sensitive to those who are not um, good. physically inclined. So what about some of your other actors? You work with Jessica Crane, uh, Nicole Harris, Evan Jackson, uh, Kinley Naranjo. You've worked with several different people. What about some of the, and Tom Thumb, mm -hmm. Tom, Tommy Lee Raspberry, who's mm -hmm. gone on to uh, feature films and, and a series. In Hollywood, what what about some of these other actors? Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of different personalities, and I love working with all of them because just because you wouldn't normally be friends with someone doesn't mean that you wouldn't work really well together. And sometimes, like seeing that, it's great to challenge yourself to work with new pet personalities. But overall, it's been wonderful. It's not. I mean, there's never been any fights or anything weird. So it's it's just nice to like meet new people and work with other artists or. Um, those who are interested in the arts or interested in acting and sort of bringing a new perspective on it that you wouldn't necessarily get from, say, someone who has gone to school for theater. And so it, it's a lot of uh, trained actors and also a lot of people just kind of coming back into it. So, 
Very nice. So for your fans and people watching and people wanting to know a little bit more about you in closing, what are some something you'd like to share with people about you? And then thank you very, very much for your awesome job and awesome work on this project. Absolutely. Um, so basically, I guess uh, I'm excited to work on more professional projects in the future as well as indie projects. And that instead of taking this as a hobby, uh, you might see more of me in some more professional roles. So. I'm looking forward to working on new projects and hope that you like them. Thank you very much, Samantha. You're an awesome person and an awesome actress. Thank you. Thank you.